Let's continue talking about the heat, though. This extreme heat wave, intense, dangerous for everyone, but especially true, perhaps, for firefighters outside, saving lives. Courtney Friedman talked to some of those firefighters about heat protocols and quite literally stepped into their shoes. A fire at a car repair shop on Sunday would usually warrant a normal response, but Battalion Chief Mark Trevino called out 17 crews, more than usual. We're really paying attention to the, uh, the, the welfare of the fire crews because it's so hot and it's, it's so humid. So we do have ambulances out here and uh, everybody to, to keep them cool. The extra crews allow him to rotate firefighters. Where you can usually work 20 minutes, you can probably only work five or 10 in the, these kind of conditions. It's all protocol. The fire department has three weather releases levels zero one and two normal operations for us is level zero but joe errington says this heat wave has prompted level two warnings meaning being outside only for emergencies we're used to it but this is a, this is not normal you know it's the the humidity they're used to the heat of structure fires which can get up to 1000 degrees it's when you're working grass fires when you're on the highway on you know on the on the concrete working automobile accidents when you're dealing with you know medical calls you're outside for an extended period of time that's when it really weighs in they insisted i feel the heat for myself so I suited up. So all of this gear I have on can weigh anywhere from 65 to 70 pounds and I can feel it. It's not just the weight of it. It's the heat inside. It's like a three layer oven mitt, I'm told, and uh, it's exactly what it feels like. I'm already working up a sweat, not even wearing the helmet yet. You can imagine what this is like on a regular day, but out here in the heat where the heat index is up to 115, it is sweltering. We're a very busy department. You know, if we're rolling you know, 10, 12 runs a shift in a 24 hour period, you're out a lot. So they work hard to stay safe so they can, in turn, keep the community safe. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.